Here at Brisbane Water Secondary College, we believe in individualised student learning. Can I tell you what I discovered the program has done for people in the last lesson? I'm really proud of the specialist class opportunities we have at this school. These classes include our S classes, AVID, targeted sports classes, learning assistance, Kappa, and class AVID in the mainstream. AVID stands for Advancement by Individual Determination. In class, my teacher will give us different cards so we're collaborating with each other and feeling comfortable to work around other people's skills and finding ways to not just know your own boundaries but other people's, what they can work up to. We're all about collaboration in the AVID classroom so every day in every classroom we're looking for kids to get together in different groups all the time, share their ideas and learn about everybody else's perspective so you'll see lots of uh, think pair shares, stand share sits. I'm really passionate about ideas and AVID's perfect for me. I, I, I really love discussions and that's how I learn. I found out that I don't need to be nervous in high school. The classes here cater for all learning types. For me, I love being we're getting amazing results with the other programs um, and these are kids that don't ne haven't necessarily performed at the top of their grade in primary school. Due to the fact that the AVID classes have been so successful, we took the initiative this year of starting a pilot program called CLASS. Collaborative, listening and speaking skills and this has been offered to four mainstream Year 7 classes. During this program, which one runs on a Friday, we have some tutors from the University of Newcastle come and facilitate the program. I'm in a mainstream class and every second Friday in the library I do AVID. Each group had their own topic and our top, or my topic I'm doing is Oz Harvest. Each has a group of six to seven students and they guide those students in the skills that we wish to develop. For example, they're currently working on delivering a speech as a group. Um, they had to summarise information that they were given and they will be required this coming Friday to deliver a speech as a group to their classmates. And they'll be educating others about social enterprises. At Brisbane Water Secondary College, we started uh, the CAPA program with the CAPA class uh, almost 10 years ago. So we try and identify kids uh, before they even get here on their, uh, based on their talents. CAPA at the school is a stream um, where they focus on creative and performing arts. You audition for either dance, music or drama. Your way home. You'll find my way home. Or come up your head. You'll be who I say you are and no one else. I mean, the good thing about the Kappa class is these guys are like-minded, so we're getting kids that wouldn't normally be identified until later in high school life. Uh, this way we can get them all, put them all in together, and they bounce off each other. The classes are so energetic, they're so exciting, they're incredible to teach. I love drama, and being in Kappa really works well for me. I get to do what I love every day. We have uh, the excursions they get to go on, the uh, extracurricular stuff they get to be involved in, the musicals, the, the concerts, you know, and they, this is opportunities they wouldn't normally get in a normal school. Um, the CAPA program lets them do that. And look, um, having, having done it for almost 10 years, we're seeing these effects, you know, ongoing. We've got uh, our kids that have gone into theatrical productions, you know, top-end Broadway productions. Uh, we've got kids that have gone into uh, the technical side of it and, and uh, you know, toured with bands like Metallica and Guns N' Roses and, you know, even Elton John. I really like being able to come into the drama room and just be creative and um, do what I love. Um, our targeted sports program is obviously targeted at our boys that are interested in rugby league but all sports. Um, so the purpose of it is to, I guess, cater to um, their needs in terms of giving them a little bit of uh, difference when they go out and do sport but really as teachers our focus is academics and in classroom and, and making them into good young men. North Pole and they've both got a South Pole so if we have opposites are they going to touch each other? Are they going to yes. pull towards no, each other? I think it's just not what you expect you think it's just going to be 
just a normal class, but it's so different. They take us out places, they give us heaps of chances to keep learning and keep striving to get to the places that we want to be, like growing up to be NRL superstars. And so for the last two years, our boys um, in math, science and English are above the average. So we're just gonna warm up before we go into a game, so it's just a lateral. Come over like this. You've done that before. If I go into my left, you're to skip to the right. Yes. They really like it. Um, they get like a little bit of a, um, I guess, tribalism in there. We do like our, you know, in-class competitions. We do our rookie bowl, um, which gets very emotional. You know, the boys take it very seriously. The ones that win are very excited, and losing. Um, it's almost like losing a grand final on the weekend. Um, I think they really like it. I think they really feel a sense of ownership in the classroom and they like to call themselves, you know, we're in the, we're in the boys' class. I think they really enjoy it um, overall. One of the streams we have at this school is the learning assistance class. Um, the learning assistance class is for students who need that little bit extra support in a mainstream setting. Um, in the classroom this means that they have a core teacher for their main subjects and then they also have a support teacher who's in their classes with them as well. And then what I do generally is I just really break it down and make it simple for them to learn a little bit easier and they have a lot more extra support too. I find they're all very supportive of each other. It's all very much everyone helping each other. Okay, can you show me your listening by having the sheets I just gave you in front of you for me? they progress amazingly. It's really, you can definitely see the difference, particularly in relation to NAPLAN. Um, so when you compare the results from year seven to year nine, you can definitely see a substantial improvement. Our S-Class program is our academic enrichment program. I really like to be in the S-Class because I think it really suits the way I learn. This year we've started project-based learning with our S-Class students and the premise behind that was ensuring our students are ready for the world beyond school. Uh, so it's an old adage and I suppose it's becoming a bit of a cliche, um, but we are preparing students for, for jobs that don't exist yet. Um, so I think rather than focusing on content, what we need to do is focus on skill acquisition and that's what we're doing with our S-Class program this year. We have created a robot fighting. Uh, so we're focusing on four future focus skills, which are evaluation, collaboration, organisation, self-reflection. In semester one this year, our students in year seven undertook a project we called Toward a Sustainable School. Um, as part of that, they were required to identify an initiative um, that they could put in place to make our school a more sustainable environment. The ideas included things like a, a vertical garden, um, which which we know could be put in place to make sure that our classrooms are cooler. Uh, we had students designing outdoor classrooms, students designing sensory gardens, different ways that we could use the green waste within the school. Semester one concluded with our students pitching their ideas, proposing their ideas to a whole raft of stakeholders. They included um, individuals from the Chamber of Commerce, our local Rotary, our local politicians and of course our own school executive. Um, in semester two, our students have um, looked wider afield and they're undertaking a community-based project. Um, I, I love um, going to teach them every single lesson because I know unequivocally um, they're going to bring an absolute commitment to learning, they're highly creative, their critical thinking skills are second to none and as a teacher that's just so highly exciting. Transition is really important to us here at Brisbane Water Secondary College. Um, we're involved in working with our partner primary schools on a really close level. You know, the, I've, I've got a um, committee of um, teachers from the partner primary schools who are my transition team. We meet on a regular basis throughout the year. Uh, we discuss all the opportunities that we want those kids to have. We don't see ourselves in isolation. Um, we're not just a seven to nine campus. Obviously we're part of a great, uh, you know, the, the college, so seven to, to 12, but bigger than that, we're part of a K to 12 continuum. And so we see education as something that starts, you know, when the kids are entering in, in kindy and, and continues through to year 12. And, and it's really important that we all work together to make sure that that process is, is as smooth and as you know, um, rich as it can be for students. I, I really love 
the, the role I have here as, as transition coordinator because um, in that role I get to not only work with the partner primary schools who are fantastic but also um, with the community, with parents. Um, I get to meet so many parents and so many kids who are on this journey and, and I just love and I feel really privileged to be part of that. I think one of the greatest joys of being at this school is watching students grow. It, not only in terms of them achieving the academic results that we know that they're capable of, but also as being part of a family, part of a wider community. Seeing students go home of an afternoon smiling as they leave through the gate, well that's a given. But seeing them smiling and happy to come to school, well that's heartwarming. That makes me know they're in the place that they're meant to be.